Hello, my name's Emma and I'm from the National Literacy Trust and today I'm here to carry on some activities all about this lovely book, Pink, written by Lynn Rickards, illustrated by Margaret Chamberlain and published by Wacky Bee Books. But before we start, let's sing our hello song. Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Now, I hope that you joined me yesterday to hear this lovely story. If not, you can go back on our Facebook page and you can listen to it after this session. But in our story, our main character here, Patrick, suddenly wakes up one morning to find he's turned pink. Now, he's a little bit worried about this at first because he thinks he's going to get teased for being different and doesn't really want to be different. But later on, he discovers that actually being different can be quite nice and quite special. He works out that actually we're all good at different things. For example, he goes and visits the flamingos and he works out that they're really good at dipping their long necks into the water and catching fish. And they're really good at standing on one leg, which, Pat, which Patrick there isn't so good at. He also talks about how the penguins are really good at other things. So they're really good at swimming underwater and sliding on their tummies, which the flamingos aren't very good at. So it shows you that it's okay that we can be good at different things. So today we're going to think about things that you're good at and things that you like doing. And remembering that it doesn't matter if you're a girl or if you're a boy, you can like and do whatever you want to do. So I've got some things here that I'm going to show you to help us think about what you might be good at and what you might be interested in. And I'm going to give you some clues to see if you can work out what activities I'm talking about. So we're going to start. The first one is something that Patrick talks about in the story. You could do it inside or outside. You can do it at the beach. You might want to wear a hat and something special over your eyes. And you might do this. When you're doing it have you guessed what it is yeah it's swimming and i've got some goggles to remind us all about swimming so maybe swimming is something that you really like to do and something that you're really good at that's one idea of an activity mm. another activity hmm. maybe you like pretending to be this thing you might wear a cape you might pretend to fly in the sky. You might read books all about this character. Hmm, anyone know what I'm talking about? It is superheroes. You might know who this superhero is. Maybe you like to play superheroes or play with superhero toys. That can be a really fun thing to do, especially with your friends. It's another activity. Hmm. Maybe though, you prefer to do things Bigger. Maybe you don't like to be inside. We're going to think about some things you could do outside. The first one um, is you might need a spade, maybe a watering can, maybe some seeds for this one. Do you know what activity I might be talking about? Maybe you like gardening and planting things and watching them grow. I've got my plant here to help us think about gardening. Maybe you do this with an adult, a grown up in your family. That can be something really fun to do together. What else might you like to do? Oh, another outside one. This one, sometimes you have to go to a special place for this. Um, and you can do things like climbing and swinging and balancing. Do you know what I'm thinking of? going to a playground and I've got a little playground here if I can lift it up to help us think about maybe going to the playground is something that you like to do and something you're really good at maybe you're super fast at climbing up things and swinging on things so I'll put that one down there um, I've got another one. Oh, maybe maybe you like being outside and this one you might need to wear something on your head and something on your feet to do Maybe you like going for long walks and jumping in puddles. So I've got my hat to talk about that. Maybe that's something you're really interested in doing and really enjoy. Maybe you like doing something different. Maybe this one, you have to follow a recipe. Sometimes you have to crack eggs and you have to mix things up. Do you know what activity I'm talking about? Baking and cooking. I've got my wooden spoon to help us think. Maybe you like baking and cooking. Maybe that's something that you're really good at. Mm. 
got a few more. Maybe you like to do something where you make something and you create something and you've got something at the end. Hmm. What do you think I could be talking about? <gasps> yeah. Arts and crafts. Maybe you like painting and gluing and sticking and cutting. So this is to help us think about that. Hmm. Oh, I've got something else. This one is a little bit noisy. You might need to keep a steady beat. You might need to think of a tune for this one. What activity do you think I'm talking about now? Well done if you said playing a musical instrument. I've got my shaker to remind me about that one. Maybe playing a musical instrument and making music is something that you really enjoy. I've got some other things here as well. Maybe you like to play with these things that I'm thinking of. So one of these things, um, you can dress her up, you can do her hair, um, you can take her on adventures. What do you think I'm talking about? Well done if you said playing with dolls. Maybe you like to play with dolls and feed them and dress them and take them out for walks. That's also really fun. Or maybe you prefer playing with things that are softer and fluffier. You can do very similar things with them, but it's a bit softer. Mm, well done if you said playing with teddies and soft toys like this one here. Or maybe you prefer playing with things with wheels. Mm, what do you think I'm talking about now? Well done if you said playing with cars and trucks like this one. So that's a whole lot of different things that you might like to do and like to play with. And that might not be the same as people in your family. And it might not be the same as your friends at school or nursery. But that's OK. It can be really fun to tell your friends and your family about the things that you like to do. And maybe even get them to try out some of the things that you like doing because maybe they'll like it too. So have a go at that this week. If you'd like to put in the comments some of the things you like doing, I'm sure there's lots and lots of things that we haven't talked about today that you really like doing at home. So remember, it's really fun to give things a try and it doesn't matter if what you like doing is different to anybody else. It's all about you having fun and enjoying something and maybe trying something new. Thanks for joining me today. We'll be back again next week with another story. Bye.